To make matters even worse, we were saying for months as a UDISINFO lab that this Article 17 in the European Media Freedom Act will open the door for the media exemption for those who don't necessarily know the term, the measure that would legally prohibit uh, platforms to do content moderation on media content to come back. The one that was actually already rejected in the DSA and the one that would turn Europe into a hub for disinformation and other harmful content. We are already seeing that happening in the institutions. The Council of the EU has put forward a compromise proposal that introduced a waiting period before a blob can do content moderation of a piece of content coming from a media to give an opportunity to the media service provider, as they say, to you know, uh, challenge this decision within an appropriate period of time. Basically, this is one-on-one -on -one language of the media exemption that we had in the DSA. European Parliament currently seems to be going even further than that. In the draft in INCO committee opinion, it is calling to introduce a 48-hour stay-up obligation until the media service provider replies to a very large online platform. The very fact how quickly media content or uh, that carries this information specifically, for example, um, goes online, how quickly it actually spreads is actually not being accounted for. The draft opinion is also suggesting removing any references to systemic risks and the DSA, including disinformation. And even worse, it's also calling that during that period of time, you wouldn't be able to do any content labeling. That would include fact checking. It's very interesting to see on one hand, institutions calling to provide more resources for fact checking, and on the other hand, not allowing to do that work. This is, this is a clear contradiction.